one of the most amazing things I ever saw was a sloth out in the wild. We walked out to go to the car and there was a little section of trees next to our apartment and the member pointed out a sloth just hanging out in one of the trees and I thought it was wild and it was one of the most amazing experiences of my life. <laughs> On many of the hikes we saw lots of monkeys and other animals. French Guiana is known for having big snakes and we saw a big snake on the beach once. But I never really felt in danger of any of these wild animals. There are lots of big spiders and other big insects, um, but you can avoid most of them. In French Guiana, um, it is very flat and very jungly. One of the things that I loved about French Guiana was just how natural it was. It is not nearly as developed as Guadeloupe or as Martinique. And so that gave lots of great hikes and just a chance to really feel like you're a part of nature. In French Guiana, there is a big mix of cultures and it is unlike anything else. There is a large population of Haitian immigrants um, because of unrest and instability in Haiti. Um, a lot of Haitians have chosen to um, immigrate illegally into French Guiana um, through different countries in South America. I grew, gained a great love for the Haitian people while I served in French Guiana. Um, they are a very humble people and most of the people that we met did not have much. They often lived in, in tin shacks. Um, not all of them had running water but every time we would go visit them, they would offer us something to eat or something to drink, and, and they were the most loving people I might have ever met. There is also a large Brazilian population in French Guiana, as Brazil is one of the neighboring countries. French people um, are not very touchy-feely. They don't, they don't really hug and things like that. Um, when you meet them, you usually kiss them on their cheeks. Um, the Brazilian people, however, are very loving and touchy-feely and I loved every Sunday going into the branch and, and hugging our Brazilian members and having them hold my hand throughout the sacrament meetings. It was uh, so much fun to have that connection with them and, and be able to um, joke around with them and have them teach us some Portuguese in our free time. One of the cool things to visit in French Guiana is the European International Space Station. Um, they actually launch rockets from there on a regular, on a decently regular basis. And there's a museum that you can go through to learn a bunch of different facts about the European space program. Um, it's a little hidden gem in an otherwise underdeveloped country, um, but it's something exciting that we got to visit. Since the islands and French Guiana depend on France, they are very heavily influenced by French culture. Um, so there are a lot of baguettes and, and things that you might imagine when you think of French culture. Um, but since they um, have a different heritage and they are from the islands, they, they have a lot of their own traditions. Martinique, Guadeloupe, and French Guiana are dependent on France. They, their culture is heavily influenced by French culture. Um, however, they are very unique in, um, and really do have their own culture. You know, in French Guiana, Christmas is the height of, well, I guess it's usually the beginning of the rainy season. And the rainy season in French Guiana, it rains for days at a time. Um, but it was very hot Christmas, very humid, and French people do not go all out for Christmas, you could say. We, they didn't have lights or very many decorations. They still had Christmas trees, but it was a lot more toned down than here in the States. So it was a little hard to really feel like it was Christmas time. In French Guiana, you will be speaking English, Gui English um, with people that are from English Guiana. You'll speak Creole with people that are from Haiti. You'll speak Portuguese with people from Brazil and French from people with people from the islands and from France. Um, I did not master any of those other languages, but I managed to learn how to say a few key phrases in each of them. Um, I would recommend doing that. It really opens people up. They love being able to um, hear a little bit of their language when they meet people.